guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean, if you have not been here before. And today, I'm sure you can guess from the title and from how I'm looking right now, that today is going to be a first impressions review testing out on the new Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. So if you stopped by my channel last Tuesday, you know that I did a little beauty haul and this was featured in it. And I told you that today I would be posting my review on this palette. I have not touched it at all. I was getting a lot of comments in the haul video um, what my thoughts were on it but I honestly have not even touched it I swatched it in store but I have not touched my own palette yet so with that being said I finished my whole base makeup brows everything all I have left is my eyes and lips and um, I did my normal foundation routine I have concealer on my eyelids and then I set it with this essence brighten up powder which I just tried out and I'm already in love I can just tell right away so I set that down so my eyelids are as usual sealed and set with powder. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into the review. I'm going to talk about the product a little bit. We're going to apply it to my eyes together. I'm going to talk through it and then at the end of the video I will tell you my final thoughts, first impressions, if I recommend it or not. So let's just get started. But This is the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia. I believe this is the fourth palette they've come out with. Like in this type of packaging. Um, I have never tried any of the other palettes. None of the colors really spoke to me besides Subculture, but I did not buy Subculture because a bunch of stuff went down with that palette. So um, I was super excited when I saw this one hit the market because I'm kind of picky when I buy a palette as terms of colors. Um, and I was just super excited to see this layout. I feel like this is perfect for anyone um, whether you do full glam makeup or if you do everyday natural makeup and I love the name of it just soft glam makes so much sense so with that being said this is the palette it has a really pretty like velvety um, texture probably not great for getting dirty and traveling but I think it's really pretty and then of course it says soft glam on there and then the back has all your information ingredients all that stuff of course so when you open it up so you can see there's quite a variety of shades. You have some really pretty shimmers in there, a pink, a gold. You have super dark shades like this black and deep red. And then you also have your more matte lighter shades. And then you have a great variety of transitions. So I feel like this palette has almost everything. And actually a lot of these shades have already been Anastasia shades. There's burnt orange, sienna, orange soda. Those are like classic Anastasia shades before. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to do a look that I can use most of these shades in. And also came with a brush. Sorry, it's not even in there because it fell out. Um, it came with this dual-ended brush. Looks like kind of like a little crease brush on this side and then a little more flat shader brush. Honestly, I'm not going to use this. I have my own brushes that I enjoy more and I know will work. So we're just going to set that aside. But I guess if you would use that brush, it is nice because it does come with it. So I'm going to start by taking this matte creamy shade, um, it's called Tempera. Ooh, it's powdery. See how much pigment came up on my brush? It's very pigmented. See how bright that is? It's really, really pretty. I love shades like this to apply all over my lid before I start. I feel like it just gives me such a clean base to work with. And this one is super brightening. You see that? See, just like that, I would love this look with just mascara and have really bright eyelids. So, so I'm going to take this crease brush. This is the Morphe M441, a larger crease brush. I'm going to go in with orange soda, I believe. Yeah, orange soda, this one. It's probably the lightest crease matte shade in the palette. And this, I've used the shade before, honestly. And this shade is so flattering in your crease. I feel like it might freak some people out because it is orange, but I find it really flattering after you build up color because this really will just add that warmth into your crease before anything else. But yeah, this is blending out really well. It's kind of less pigmented than I thought. I think it's just the shade in general is a lighter shade, but it is blending out beautifully. See, so yeah, I'm not doing this any precise way at all. Just fluffing it in my crease and building up the color. 
Okay, so I have that shade on. I think that looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna go in with the next shade right below. This is Burnt Orange. You can see it's a little bit of a step darker as terms of deepness. So I'm gonna take that on the same brush, kind of tap off the excess. Again, it's still pretty powdery. And put this in my crease as well. A little bit more precise this time, but still nothing crazy. You can see it's deepened it up just a tiny bit. Although it's powdery, I have like zero health from. Sorry. <laughs> um, although it is really powdery in the palette, I don't have like any fallout under my eyes. And that would be my biggest concern with a super dusty shadow is if it was getting all below my eyes. But it's not at all, so... I'll show you in the palette. Here's the shade I was just using. Very dusty and messy as well as that one. Um, but they are blending pretty well. So, again, that doesn't bother me because makeup's going to get messy anyways. But it is definitely more of a dusty formula compared to my Kat Von D or my Tarte palettes that I love too. So, so next, I'm going to take this smaller tapered crease brush and I'm going to go in with Sienna. This color is so pretty. It's like a really warm, rich rust shade and apply that to my brush tap off the excess and really focus this in my crease the shade choice in this palette is probably one of the best i've seen in a while because you just get everything whether you're going for full glam or every day so i just applied sienna right in my crease right there my eyelids are really dry right now for my acne medicine so if you see some weird texture right there that's all that is so that has nothing to do with the shadows my eyelids have just been on a been on a road lately i'm going back in with that original really big fluffy brush and just kind of blending that out just to make sure everything looks right and seamless okay next i want to go in with god it's dusty i want to go in with one of the shimmers i'm feeling i want to go in with fairy let's swatch them I just swatched these two shimmer shades. That is bronze and that's fairy. So I think I'm gonna go in with fairy first on the inner half of my lid and then we will go from there. So I'm gonna take one of my favorite flat brushes. I talked about this in my haul as well. This is the M167 by Morphe. I'm gonna dip into fairy. Um, I have no fix plus on this or anything. Tap off the excess and we're going to try and pack this on our lid. I probably will go on with Fix Plus because I do with every shade, but I will test out without it first. Just packing this right there. This is a really pretty color. It's like an iridescent yellow gold. So there you can see I just packed that shade on. I am going to spray my brush just because... It's going to stick better and last longer when you spray your brush. I do this with every shadow, whether it's good or not. Yeah, you can see the difference there. Okay, so that's Fairy on my lid. It worked very, very well. I love the shimmer that's pulling off. It did have a little bit of fallout, so I'm just going to wipe that away. Nothing too crazy. And... At least it's a lighter shade, so that's okay. Okay, next, I kind of want to deepen up the outer corner. So I'm going to go in with this really pretty deep wine shade. It's called Mulberry. So I'm just going to take this super tiny little brush from Morphe. This is the M514. Dip into Mulberry a little bit. This color is beautiful. And just push this into my outer corner. How pretty that is that is beautiful okay i'm gonna go in with that original big fluffy brush that we use take a tiny bit of orange soda tap it off and go on my crease once more kind of above the crease just to make sure this is all blending up to my brow bone okay so i think that's looking pretty good since i have to go look at a house with my friend right now um I don't want to go too crazy. Normally, I probably would have taken the black or that dark brown and applied it in my outer corner as well as with that mulberry to just deepen it up even further if I was going more for like 
a really vampy night out full full glam look but i'm just gonna keep it really pretty with these warmer tones and that gold so now i'm gonna work on my lower lash line i'm going to take my favorite little pencil brush from morphe this is the m431 i'm first gonna take burnt orange tap off the excess and really smoke this out on my outer lash line bottom lash line sorry take a flat definer brush and I'm gonna take actually because our top this is so warm I kind of want to tone it down a little bit so I'm gonna take rustic this is more of just a mid-tone brown tap into there and push this into my lash line on the outer corner Okay, so that is the completed eyeshadow. I'll be right back. I'm going to curl my lashes, apply some mascara, lips, and we will talk about my final thoughts. Okay, so I just finished up my eyes. I applied some mascara and then put on my lippy for the day. So I think overall, I really, really love this palette and I loved how the eye look turned out. I'll show you a little more up close. It's just super warm and smoky and then the shimmer in there that the shimmer in there was just beautiful and there were some other shimmer shades that I didn't even get to use. So you have choices. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. I have to film three videos. I have to be at the door in like 10 minutes. My camera's dying. But besides the point, I'll show you the palette now. It is pretty dusty and there was quite a bit of fallout and dust everywhere. But it blended so pretty and the shades are so pretty that I feel like it's still really worth it. Um, is this a palette for the every everyday woman? Probably not. Is this the palette for the girl who likes to go out some nights and then also needs a palette for work every day too? That's what I think is really cool about this palette because I think you can do really crazy awesome smoky looks you can do something kind of in the middle which i would call this kind of in the middle or you can do something super basic and every day for work or for school um so i feel like this is very very versatile i think this turned out beautiful and i'm definitely going to be using this again i think it kind of switches it up because if you guys know me on my channel i use a lot of just plain matte shades the tarte the kat von d i just love my brown matte shades so i feel like this is kind of stepping outside my box but still being a pretty natural and very very wearable so i think i really really like it honestly overall this palette gets a thumbs up from me i think the price is fair for the shadows that you're getting and it's a beautiful palette overall so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um let me know down below if you guys are gonna buy this palette yourself or your thoughts about it i'd love to hear from you guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button please hit that button down below i post every tuesday and friday around 3 p.m I try and post at 3 p.m., but it doesn't always happen. So I post two videos a week. If you guys want to come a part of this family, then I'd love to have you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next week. Bye.